ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Afternoon Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, May the 2nd. I'm James Spann, watching from a distance a major severe weather outbreak in progress across the Mid-South today. Let's uh, go to some Skycam shots this afternoon coming from the Skycam network. There's the uh, Coleman Skycam, the sky becoming mostly cloudy over the state. It's a warm and windy day. Uh, there's a look at our Hamilton Skycam up in northwest Alabama. Note some vertical development there. And there could be a few isolated showers this afternoon, but the bulk of the action uh, today will stay west of here. And down south, the uh, sea looking a little choppy. That's the uh, Gulf Shores sky cam coming from the top of the Phoenix All Suites. Boy, what a storm there. Major upper low right over the nation's midsection. A blizzard raging back in the cold air part of that thing over Wyoming and South Dakota. How about that for May the 2nd? And severe convection in the warm sector to the southeast of the upper low. Uh, there's a look at some of the storm reports so far. The death toll in Arkansas is uh, at least 10, as I do this update, possibly higher from tornadoes this morning. Obviously a very serious situation there, and it's ongoing. There's a look at the uh, convection on radar as of uh, early this afternoon. Those are tornado watches covering a large part of uh, northeast Texas, northwest Louisiana, eastern Arkansas, and northwestern Tennessee. In fact, just as I started to do this update, this new uh, watch was issued into western Tennessee and northwestern Mississippi, in effect, for the next uh, seven to eight hours. Uh, there's the uh, convective outlook at a moderate risk right across the Mid-South, up and down the Mississippi Delta, including Memphis and Greenville, Greenwood. Oxford, Mississippi is involved in that, a slight risk all the way from uh, Lafayette, Louisiana, up to uh, Milwaukee and Detroit. That includes Chicago and Indianapolis. And tomorrow there's a slight risk over a large part of Alabama, and a lot of issues involving the severe weather threat here tomorrow. It is not going to be as significant as the uh, event today, we believe, that's northwest of here. There's the expected rain around the nation, uh, about one to two inches, if this is right, for much of Alabama. I think the number is probably closer to one inch, maybe isolated spots uh, with heavier amounts. Here's a peek at the instability values at early afternoon. You can see the uh, capes are maxed out there up and down the Mississippi. Uh, instability values up to 1,500 to Memphis. The uh, veering of the wind, the lowest one kilometer. This is the zero to one kilometer helicity. Again, those numbers are uh, pretty high from, uh, say, north Mississippi on north. Uh, really maxed out over Arkansas and western Tennessee. The uh, supercell composite seemed to be maxed out around the delta there between Greenville and Memphis. And the Craven Brooks Severe Weather Index, again, with a max... Uh, right over the Mississippi River. And that's where some problematic storms will likely continue over the next couple of hours. So uh, severe weather obviously ongoing out there. Let's look at tomorrow. Now the upper level low begins to weaken and lift north uh, of the state. So the good news, the better dynamics are north of Alabama tomorrow. We'll look at the surface chart. The uh, surface low is in Canada with a trailing front. And the big question involves... Uh, the morning convection, we think that the big batch of storms will ease in here uh, after midnight into tomorrow morning. And uh, more than likely, that convection will be weakening with time and be non-severe by the time it reaches us. And then uh, as that kind of fades away, new storms will likely fire during the midday hours, and those could be severe. Might be the better chance of severe storms east of I-65 tomorrow afternoon. Uh, and again, it just depends on if we see any sunshine and all that. But the wind fields will be weakening with time. So uh, we, we don't think the threat here tomorrow is as potent as the threat going on today across the Mid-South. Sunday looks fine. Beautiful day. Monday of next week will be in good shape. Tuesday, still dry. A moisture return off to the west. Wednesday, a uh, surface low is uh, over Michigan with a trailing front. And that would suggest maybe a few showers easing in here Wednesday afternoon. I think we'll need to mention a chance of that. Thursday, that lead system lifts out. Another wave forms on the front near Memphis and Little Rock. And that will certainly mandate a chance of showers Thursday. And then Friday, that surface low pulls away. So the, the latter half of the week looks unsettled, trying to pin down exactly when the greatest chance of rain will be a little hard to do at this point. Uh, four days later, May 13th, that's a good-looking short wave, and that looks uh, kind of wet and stormy on this run. 
And at the end of the cycle on the 18th, we got ridging here. That looks dry, but we've seen uh, solutions all over the board out there. It's a fairly active pattern in trying to be specific more than seven days in advance. Almost impossible to do. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. My next video will be Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters will have the video updates here this weekend. And, of course, we'll have uh, running updates in the event. We do see some severe weather around here tomorrow on the blog, alabamawx.com. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and God bless.